Okay, so this is the first video of the electricity topic. Um, now, this is a really um, big topic and it can be quite difficult just because um, there's not much connection to uh, everyday life in terms of your own understanding. Um, one thing I will say is that First off, with the electricity topic, whilst we call the topic electricity, you will never use that word in answering any of your questions, okay? So that's the first thing. So we don't use that word when we answer our questions. We use words like current, charge, potential difference, resistance. So today's um, video is on circuit symbols and circuit diagrams, okay? And one of the things that we need to do when we're talking about electricity as a topic is we need to be able to understand it and describe um, our electric circuits. Um, so the first part of your specification says that circuit diagrams use standard symbols and that students should be able to draw and interpret circuit diagrams. So your typical exam questions will be, first question would be, draw the circuit symbol for this or what is this circuit symbol? Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and draw these all out now. So the first one is a switch and in this case it's an open switch. And so you show it's open because there's no connection there. Because there's no connection there, the circuit is not complete and whatever component is in there will not work. OK, and then, of course, we have the closed switch. So similar symbol, we're going to have these two um, connection points and then your switch uh, is going to go from the bottom of one to the top of the other. OK, so that is your closed switch. My apologies for the shadow here, I am recording this um, in the evening. Next most common one is a lamp or bulb and that is a circle with a cross through it and then these are the connecting wires, okay. Next one is a fuse, that's a nice common one, so that is just a rectangle again with the wires coming out of it. Now that's going to be different to um, Sorry, this is a resistor, my apologies. So this is a resistor, and I made the mistake I'm trying not to, which is that a fuse has the wire going all the way through. Okay. Now, um, another type of resistor, we've got various types of resistors. Um, so we'll do a thermistor, okay, so you draw the diagram for the resistor and then it's got this like hockey stick coming through it, so I think of the climate change hockey stick graph, that's the thermistor. Okay, and then we have a variable resistor, so the same as a resistor again. Okay, now this one won't work because the connection's not there, so let me just complete it. And again, it is a resistor and it's got an arrow through it, so that is a variable resistor. And then the next type of resistor is what's called a light dependent resistor or LDR. So the symbol for that, you're going to draw a symbol for a resistor, but a little bit miniature. Okay. So that tells me it's a resistor. Then you put a circle around it. Okay, and then you have two arrows pointing diagonally downwards, and those represent light. And so that's our LDR, our light dependent resistor. Okay. We have a few more um, diagrams to get used to. So first off, we need to be able to actual, actually supply energy to the circuit, and we do that with a cell. So the cell, it starts positive on the left, negative on the right, and the positive is the long line, and the negative is the short line, like so. 
And so a cell is what you might typically call a battery in day-to-day -day life. So if I say the battery has run out um, on my remote control car, for example, I would exchange it with another battery, but that would actually be a cell. Whereas a battery in circuit physics um, is when you have lots of cells together, so two or more cells together, and that is drawn like this. So we've got the positive and negative, uh, just like before, but then we do a dashed line to represent that there can be many, and then we just do the next one like that. Okay, and that is a battery, battery of cells. Okay, um, there's a couple of symbols we use to measure certain quantities within a circuit. So if we are going to measure the current, we would use an ammeter. So that is a capital A circle around it. Okay, must be a capital A. And if we're going to measure the potential difference across um, a cell or across a component, we would use a voltmeter, so capital V, circle around it, like so. We used to call it voltage, now we call it potential difference. Okay, so a few more we need to learn um, that aren't really related to anything else, but we've got a diode. So a diode is a component that only allows um, the current to flow in one direction. Okay, so first off, we're going to have our wire. OK, then we're going to have like a play button, which tells me the direction that the current can go, which is that way to the right. But then I have a barrier, which means if I try to send current the other way, it won't allow it. This is how I think of it anyway. And then that's all got a circle around it. OK, so that's your diode. OK, and then exactly the same um, symbol. Um, is used for a light emitting diode with one small difference. So I'll just draw that quickly. So the one small difference is that we've got the arrows for light coming out of it. So that's an LED or light emitting diode. So notice the arrows in the light dependent resistor. It depends on light to resist, therefore um, the arrows are coming in. Whereas a light emitting diode emits light, so gives light out when, um, when the current is flowing. Okay, so that is your circuit symbol. So you need to learn all of these. Um, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that's 14 circuit symbols to know. Um, so learn one a night for two weeks. Great idea. Um, you will get a question on this. Um, it's almost guaranteed that you will get a question on one of these and there's no way of knowing which one so you've got to learn them all because you don't want to lose easy marks. Okay, next thing to be aware of is we need to be able to follow certain rules of a circuit. So the first one is that um, the circuit must be complete in order for current to flow. Okay, so circuit must be complete current to flow. So what do I mean by this? It means that all of the connections need to be joined up. So if I was going to have a cell um, powering, say, a light bulb like this, it's not going to work until I join the connections up. OK. Secondly, Wires must be drawn with straight lines. Now, if I was going to be really pedantic, I would be using a ruler to draw all of my circuit diagrams. For the purpose of an exam, this is fine. OK, what we don't want is just um, like... We don't want it to look like real life with just some symbols thrown in. That is wrong. OK, um, 
third is we must get our components correct. So what that means is that if you're going to draw a cell, it needs to be like this. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> okay, so it needs to have the long line, the short line. It needs to not be joined in the middle and it needs to have the positive and the minus. Okay, you can't just make up your own versions and hope for the best. Okay, so that would be wrong. Okay. Um, and if you are going to have a switch in the circuit, it must be closed, obviously, in order for the circuit to work. So if you're going to have a switch, so if we go back to the circuit with the um, light bulb, for example, if we're going to put a switch in it, uh, let's put the switch here and put my light bulb in. Okay, so at the moment we don't know if the switch is open or closed. Closed means that the light bulb is going to be shining, yay, um, but open would mean that it's not. And fifth is that conventional current flows from positive to negative. So if you were going to put the direction of the current on this circuit, you would be drawing arrows away from the positive connection, okay? So that is a little bit confusing, isn't it? Because our early understanding of electricity tells us that electricity is the flow of electrons. And so you might think that that means that the current must go from the neg negative to the positive, but it's not. It's actually from the positive to the negative. Okay. Thank you for listening. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great videos like this and for any other updates. Bye.